I'm Zed. Um, I'm making uh, graffiti as long as I can remember. So over the last 25 years I've been painting walls, trains, as I like to say, painting everything inside. It was all about typography and about uh, writing my name. And over the time that I've been writing graffiti, this becomes less and less important. It becomes more important to um, fill the space with uh, some rhythm and harmony. I am from the Netherlands and in the Netherlands I used to see a lot of Mondrian. And at that moment I didn't really understand it. Maybe something I want to do in my, in my work, I want to uh, repeat that language, uh, to repeat this, this imagery, but in a new way. Like I don't want to copy it, but I want to bring it back. If I look at my work now, then I think uh, it still relates to graffiti in the way that I'm like painting outside, that I'm using public space, that I uh, try to paint on walls that are not painted. Like I try to uh, put my name out in a, in a readable or in an unreadable way. Like I want to make the, my, my, my imagery, I want to make it my language. I want to make that my letters. So if you, if you see a certain assembly of blocks, lines, squares, and a uh, certain usage of color, I want you to recognize its Zs. So suddenly the, the typography layer disappears and goes to the background. And what comes to the foreground is like a, a visual language. A, a language maybe more universal that can replace uh, a sound. I think like letters are symbols, they are just like making you pronouncing something and I want to go over that, like I want to get to a level in which it, uh, in which my name, in which my tech becomes more like music, like uh, music to the eye. So, and, and then I'm get f I get very far away from the origin of graffiti and still I think I stay very close to the roots. I, th I think Corvetto is uh, particularly interesting because it's, it's also, it's not just a wall, it's, not, uh, it, it's almost like it's moving, like actually you are passing, you can pass by there by, by foot or by cart and and uh, the walls will turn into a diorama. You cannot see the whole project in one in one gasp. You have to move along the project. You can even even it got two sides, so you can go around. You can go between the paintings. It's a it's a pretty dynamic thing. It's a, you can also see it as in a, in the theater where you have different plans. Like it's it's all flat, but together it makes a three dimensional image. Sometimes two pillars will, will show one image and in this image there are literally cars par parked, there are people walking around or if you move yourself along the project the images will, will literally become uh, open up and close, and close again. And two pillars were making one image and as soon as you pass one of the pillars the next pillar will make an image with, with, with the previous pillar again. So, it's um, almost like a live collage. I, I started with some uh, silkscreen print I had made in the previous months. And I almost literally cut out pieces of this print, of this drawing, and projected them on the different parts of the, of the Corvetto project. And you should think like the Corvetto project is 18, pilone, 18 pillars. Both have two sides, there's like four long walls, there's two sort of paths. I want to have all this, this whole project become one thing, to, be, to, to make one, one drawing over, the, over this big structure. It's a way of working, I'm in, I, I am in fashion or I'm like practicing in the last months uh, to, to redesign or to remake an, an already existing design into bringing it into another platform, into another uh, uh, medium. And at this moment, uh, 
um, the design feeds back to me again and now it starts coming back to where it originally started into a print again and I think the design that I'm working on will I will take it to another platform again like redefining it re uh, structuring it, taking parts out, putting new parts in. Collage is not finished, but it 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 keeps evolving over a, over a time frame, over a, over different media in different places. Corvetto actually is a junction. It's a it's a, it's a bridge. There's like a lot of traffic going over. There's a lot of traffic going under. Um, there's a metro line crossing through it. Um, and there's people living. It's, there's almost four different neighborhoods on the on the bridge. And um, when I started working there, like some people came to me and asked me, like, "What are you doing?" And we didn't ask for this. And I came to another side of the bridge and I started painting there. And the people immediately were happy. And they were they didn't ask so much. They were more crediting me for what I was doing. And um, it kind of surprised me to see the different attitudes in the different small, small sub-neighborhoods. Some people would ask me why, it's, why everything is green and why I'm not using like uh, uh, more different colors. And the, the, the use of colors also were like used uh, to, to work in one color scheme is also to harmonize, not to make it messy, not to make it unrelated to each other. So as I came more to the end of the project, also the reactions became more and more positive because people started to see the coherence, like the, the, they started to see it as one big painting. Yeah.